Hello and welcome back to my XCOM 2 Iron Man Let's Play <clears throat> where the last two combat missions have gone terribly. We lost one soldier on each mission in the last two missions which is just horrible. I am looking we... I thought we had another... yeah we do have another sharpshooter so... that's good I guess but I really have to stop losing soldiers to stupid things. I will investigate the black market because I really hope they will sell us um, alien alloys so we can get our weapon upgrades. The Commander, we have a priority message coming. and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this avatar project, and then destroy it. You are the enemy to succeed in your efforts. I am certain that it is in the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. We're tracking the aliens' progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. So, sorry about the noise. I forgot to plug back in my the air pump to my uh, shrimp tank. I have aquariums and one of them is a shrimp tank and I unplugged the air tank, uh, the air pump and forgot to plug it back in. Uh, I hope it's not too loud, but they need the air too. Poor little guys. Um, yeah, so basically if we run, if this is completed, then we lose the... If we, uh, if they complete their avatar project, then we have, I think, 30 days or something like that, or 25 days to reduce it. Um, and if we don't, we lose. So we will buy alien alloys. Um, I'm going to buy supplies as well. I'm going to spend my intel on that. Well, now let's wait on the supplies. We'll just start buying our upgrades. Well, we have one weapons upgrade available now, which is for our assault rifles, which we can buy here. And we also want this. We need more. We need more engineers for that. But at least we now have a better. I'm not going to buy the. This I'm gonna look if I can actually upgrade the Gauss weapons once we get them. Gauss weapons basically is the Avenger. sniper upgrade. Um, I don't think we can. We probably need more alloys, but we'll see. We completed our research in remarkable time, Commander. 
so now we have tier 2 snipers available and also uh, for the reaper and for our heavies the, the cannon which is good this is an this is something we need anyways and I'll see if I can buy the upgrade but I wouldn't bet on it I just basically Hello, Commander. Um, build items yeah so we can't why can't we 100 supplies I can buy that I also don't have enough engineers so we need two engineers to do any of this um, which we can probably get in one of the next missions we'll also probably get our research done the next research done um, right away and then we can contact new resistance cells I didn't mean to fly there but it doesn't matter I am gonna go for supplies as well as buy some supplies if I can um, because we are gonna need to buy a lot of upgrades so we can now uh, contact um, resistance cells which is good we also have plated armor I think yeah I think it's so important to get plated armor that we might as well I don't know I'm not happy about it but we are gonna spend the rest of our alien alloys on that so we won't be able to buy um, any of the other upgrades now Collected sufficient intel to make contact. We'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. Uh, I don't know why the black market is, market is acts as if it has something new. Doesn't. I really need more uh, alien alloys, basically. So we are gonna make contact here I guess it doesn't really matter to make contact we'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding once we find them we'll be up and running in the new region commander using Intel collected so far we've managed to locate a resistance cell operating out of this region take us some time to scan for their exact position though commander we just got word that the resistance hit an advent supply line we have an opportunity to salvage some high value materials Assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. Command, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Lost are fine. We'll see if we can actually get the squads, the first squad size upgrade. This is the reason why I built the guerrilla tactics school so early. But I think it's, you know... Yes, we can do that. So we can take five people on this mission, which is great. Um, which lets us use our Reaper and still have a lot of damage. We're definitely gonna take, um, definitely gonna take a specialist because he has a higher tier of weapon available to him. So he's probably the one who's doing the damage, uh, which is kind of funny. So, in because of that, I'm I'm also gonna take a sharpshooter, and I'm thinking of taking uh, a rookie or a second uh, specialist if I have one available, just because currently they are the ones who do the most damage. But I can also just equip my rangers with. Um, uh, I can equip my rangers with the with the assault rifle so okay so this gun does 4 to 6 damage the shotgun and the magnetic rifle does 5 to 7 so there's no real reason not to use it as far as I know 
and I will also be doing that on my other ranger and we'll just see how it goes um, yeah so we will also we also have a med kit we have a sniper do we have any available heavies at this point I would really like to take a heavy yes it's great um, so this is gonna be our squad in that case and I really don't like this kind of mission but basically what we have to do is uh, get to supply crates before the enemies do it's fine I I'm gonna take my time on this one because I really don't wanna keep losing soldiers because in the long run that is gonna be a big problem I'm also not taking mocks even though he would be very useful on this mission because I want to wait for armor just to make him dying a little bit more um, Yeah, so it's just that Mox doesn't die. And I'm gonna be very passive with my Reaper if I can. Because of the same reason. Because losing soldiers sucks, but losing heroes is a catastrophe. As I said many times, I'm sure you're sick of hearing it. But it's always, with the Reapers especially, it's very kind of want to reveal them because in the early game they're one of the only accurate units you get your hands on especially if you kill your sharpshooters as I did um, so yeah so we're gonna try to not do that but having this squad uh, size upgrade is very important and it's I think early game I think in the whole game it's it's the most important upgrade or as soon as you get to take six people on missions the that's usually a turning point for any um, for any campaign and this is also a lost mission which is good because they tend to be much more easy than the other ones than the normal missions I don't like this map. So I don't expect there to be any enemies in here. We get anywhere this far without being revealed. But I'm gonna scout. We are probably gonna have to go through the building with most of our units which and I hate this building because it has this little zigzag wall so it's always a pain to get to, through and then you are in a bottleneck but I don't know you can't put everybody through this alleyway because it's just we can we're gonna take about I think two people are gonna go through the alleyway and three are gonna go through this way including the Reaper to make sure we don't well we run into we run into opposition in a very controlled way I also hope we we will benefit from the the weapons upgrade I'm sure and we should get to the other weapons upgrades as soon as we can because in my experience damage especially if you're taking it slow is more important than defense so in general what I want to do is end up with my sniper about here because then she has a very good field of view and she can take out most enemies on this map because this map is I don't like it 
I could also position her upstairs here, but I think we're better off downstairs. Uh, can you not get revealed? That would be very helpful. Can you go here without being revealed? There. Looks good. So, as you can see, the reason why this map is it's probably designed to be annoying um, is that there's two bottlenecks you have to get through and a lot of the uh, especially the zigzag bottleneck is blind so there could be enemies right here and we wouldn't know until we stand in front of them they could even be in the hallway I I'm gonna use my Reaper and assume they're not. Just to scout to here. And there we have the introduction of human DNA. These creatures once operating under the guise of thin men now show their true form. A purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. Roger that. So vipers are quite annoying if you have so little HP as you do in the beginning um, they can poison your units and uh, they can also pull them towards themselves and disable them which is quite annoying but as soon as you have a couple of weapons upgrades and your armor is in a good place you're gonna have an easy an easy an easy time against them so they're by no means one of the worst units to go up against so I am going to move in my Reaper further what is this is this is another Viper I, I never understood why they call them Vipers because they look like am I gonna be, be flanked here I think I am um, they look like Cobras and they constrict so they are by no means uh, by no stretch of the imagination are they vipers so of course this in this round I can't engage I should probably start um, I hope I don't get seen here I don't um, I probably should start fighting the pot in the next turn or we see two parts now so okay so we have a purifier and a viper oh and since we revealed both the lost uh, part as well as the alien part they're gonna start fighting now which is good for us Especially since the aliens are going to position themselves in order to avoid the lost, which is not is probably unlikely to be the right spot to um, to defend from us. And funnily enough, uh, that viper didn't actually see me. So if we reveal ourselves now, they're not gonna do another hide behind cover, which is which is good for us. Um, I am gonna start engaging now because why not I guess at this point yeah basically I can't the funny thing is that both uh, I guess that the both the Viper and the um, and the purifier are gonna stay flanked I think and we also missed our 80% chance or 75% chance which is amazing since we have to deal with two pots now and we didn't do damage to anybody which I think is just fantastic oh we missed two 80% chances that is great I love it 
I'm very happy about that. Let's see if we can miss a 95% chance. Yep. Technically, that's not a miss. It's a hit, and then they roll for dodge, but it's still incredibly. So we're gonna uh, leave this round with having every single enemy alive, which is just fantastic. I don't even think I want to do that because if I do, I take the I take the last off the board, they're all gonna die. So I lose the chance that the aliens are gonna aggro the last. So right here I'm just gonna shoot with my sniper rifle even though I have a much lower chance than with my pistol because the sniper rifle at least has the chance of killing the viper. Um, and it did. So We'll basically see how this goes. I don't want to reveal my Reaper. That would just be a bad idea. I'm going to move her here. Open the door and move her inside. Maybe. I just don't want her to get flanked. But I don't think there's a hide. Well, if a Lost walks up to my, my people, then Lost will flank her. So... Wait, what can I trigger? No, oh, this is not helpful at all. So basically I'm just putting, taking her out of harm's way. I don't want to get close enough to the purifier to be discovered. So now I'm hoping for both of the purifiers to do nothing. Oh, and we have... We have the... Uh, the fucking chosen spawn, which is always great. But I'm really happy I didn't reveal my Reaper now. Because if we did, then she'd probably insta kill the Reaper. So she's probably gonna insta kill somebody else now. We'll see. Wait, she was revealed? Because she spawned next to. Oh, she spawned next to um, a, a lost. So this was kind of what I was hoping for, for them to aggro the lost and not me. Because since I missed all of my, my shots, um, that's just bad. Okay, so the... Purifier that's standing next to me did nothing this turn for some reason. The elders possess many I don't know why. Where they see you, they send me. Um, if we shoot the purifiers, they have a chance to explode, which then, um, which then triggers new lost to spawn, which is bad, of course. And. Ideally, I would want to engage the chosen away from buildings because, as you will probably, that's incredible. As you will probably see, um, she is extremely annoying inside of buildings. So basically, I don't think I can do much about that purifier there, so um, I guess I'll just... That did 3 damage, what the hell. Yeah, I think I might agree with her on that one. So this mission is just going terribly. Um, yeah, so basically... I want to flank, I want to take damage off the board and to do that I will move here, shoot the viper, hopefully kill the viper at some point in my life. I actually did. I am aware now that my, um, oh you have a 17% chance, that's just great. I'm very aware that my ranger is in a terrible position. 
So yeah, if we continue losing units, it's probably gonna be the Ranger. And I can't uh, get the... Um, I can't... I can't get the crates using my Reaper because that'll reveal her. So since my... I actually don't really know what to do here. It's probably not a good idea, but the Reaper can't attack... Uh, the, the Reaper, the... Mm, the Purifier can't attack both. And shooting at a 17% chance is just a complete waste of my turn. I will move the Reaper out of the way so we don't get revealed. Well, I guess at this point it really doesn't matter. Well, because if I, I expect the Chosen to attack me next turn. And if she knows where my Reaper is, she... I don't know if she's more likely to aggro the Reaper, but it feels like it. Always feels like uh, the this chosen goes for the Reapers. It's quite annoying. I probably can't go here. I can't go here at all because I would be revealed. So I'm just gonna put her here. And if the chosen reveals the Reaper, it's on her turn. Um. which would make it uh, impossible for her to attack the Chosen, uh, the Reaper in the same turn. So these two crates have been marked, so they are taken by the enemy and we won't get those supplies. But at this moment I'm just way more interested in surviving than anything else, because my people just miss all of their shots. Which is incredibly frustrating. So I hope you aggro well. Just the last. Which is good. And it's as I said, it's terrible that we have to fight the chosen in here. The chosen should be visible. But we have to take out the, the enemies we see now. Did she get revealed twice? At least she... We got really lucky with her because she's been revealed every time. And that's just really good for us. So the chosen, if the uh, the chosen, the the lost just move randomly. I think if they if they're set on fire and they can set each other on fire very easily, which is cool. Um, so we have to keep in mind that if we kill this purifier, he. I don't know what the chance is of him exploding, but it's not bad. It's pretty high. And that, of course, means that we're gonna trigger Lost, very likely. She, I think, is the only one who can take out this purifier, which she probably can't at all. I also don't want to move my people apart that much because the Chosen will probably knock out some of them will definitely not take a 77% chance and I kind of want to take out the purifier using my reaper but I really don't want to lose I so I I don't know who the chosen will attack but she can definitely one shot my sniper which is really bad. I had to hunger down because she has so little health that um, she could easily die. Okay, can you actually... I really don't like doing this because 
If she gets targeted by the Chosen... Well, we all have to deal with that. I, I really have to start taking out these purifiers. It's very, very annoying. No, the other one. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. The way this mission has been going, I... I can't say I'm surprised. So, I... I think this is gonna be... I think the purifiers might even survive this round, or at least one of them will. Uh, he, this purifier is still in full cover, so there's no conceivable way of me hitting him. So I'm just gonna move my heavy here, since I don't really think cover matters against any of the units we see him now. So at least we killed the purifier, which is something, I guess. I'm gonna have to heal my... Well, we have a very low percentage of her being attacked. But I don't know if I can do anything against this purifier since he's in full cover. And I don't think that improves my chances at all. So I'm gonna heal her. Like moving... Does he have revival protocol? Okay, this is very important so we can... Um, if any of our units get dazed, um, he can revive them remotely. This means we don't actually have to get to them, which is important because um, not having having dazed units is very annoying because they get captured and interrogated and yeah. So I took that shot because basically don't have anything else to do with him. I'm not going to do anything with my reaper now. Wait, I'm. I'm going to position her somewhere here. I think that's a better position. I don't think she'll get set on fire by the purifier. Okay, so we killed one purifier, which I guess is, is something. We'll just overwatch with her. That purifier is, it's just, well, this might even set my Reaper on fire, which would be great. Yeah. So she's probably going to hide in the building now, which is just incredibly annoying. I hope she gets set on fire, because I can't get to her at all. and. That is the reason why you don't engage her next to a building. So I do hope we... So basically in this round I don't know if I can do anything because I can't reliably get to her. I could move my Reaper Yes. So I'm gonna remote revive him because it's just incredibly annoying. They also have a chance to be, um, what's it called? So they can't hit anything, I don't remember. So I don't know, we'll see if I can attack the Chosen, I can't. I don't know how it works, but sometimes it takes away their turn, or their first first action. So can I actually get to the Chosen using my Reaper? Yeah, so the Reaper is the highest mobility unit and she takes both of her turns to get to the Chosen. Which is just... This is why I hate this Chosen early game so much. It is really frustrating to deal with. Um, I have to take... Okay, so I have to heal my injured unit. I think. Go patch him up. Because there's way too many ways in which he can die next turn. Um... 
I don't know, I feel completely out of my depth now. I don't... I'm just gonna shoot at the purifier now. We could take out... Well, of course she misses. Everybody fucking misses in this game. And with her, I can't do anything because she has to reload. So, so magazine size upgrades are very important with these guys. So I'm just gonna shoot at the, the last, especially the dashers. I don't think the other ones can do very much. I don't really lose that much by shooting at this last. Um, but... Okay, so basically we are going to flank the purifier and... Sh uh, that's... We always have to keep in mind that the purifier can explode. So what I'm actually gonna do is go here and if the purifier explodes, the car explodes, um, which will do probably kill my dude. It will also very likely trigger... It will also very likely trigger more lost. So if I now reveal my Reaper, uh, she's probably gonna get dazed on the next turn, so I am i don't really think I can do much with my Reaper. I'm gonna reload her gun, because Overwatch does nothing against the, lost, uh, the, the Chosen or this Chosen. And with her, I'm just gonna put her on Overwatch. So, okay, so there's no more enemies, no more aliens on the map. Now there's aliens on the map. But, in general, that's the only alien. So, she's gonna daze somebody, probably. At least this attack doesn't do any damage. And then she's gonna hide in the building again, so... We... Did she miss my sniper? Really? Okay, and she's also out in the open, which is nice, so we should basically just go full aggro on her. So I am definitely gonna put my... Even though this will probably trigger a lost um, swarm, I'm probably gonna uh, put my my claymore next to her because I really want her to die this turn because she is she's out in the open which is just incredibly important So how good's your shot? Terrible. Okay, we are gonna go for the Claymore first because we'll also destroy her cover from all sides. I probably can't hit her this far. I can't? No, I can't. Close though. So my Reaper is only gonna place her Claymore this turn. I hope this is good enough. Moving as ordered. And I hope I don't get blocked by the wall. Do I have shrapnel? Yes, I have shrapnel on the claymore, which is important. So the claymore goes here. This should this takes out uh, the chosen's cover on all sides. This means I can pretty much put. My specialist here, I'm currently just ignoring the last, which will probably come back to bite me in the ass, but not taking care of the... Okay, since she's shell-shocked and we're gonna 
basically probably cause uh, loss of spawn anyways I will trigger the claymore with a grenade and hope that it's enough to kill her or put her in a position that I can kill her with my sniper so I can actually take care of some of the lost at least need to be wary of the trooper here as well we're again in a very great position as we were in the past couple of um, missions which is okay she has access to cover where I can put her here she's flanked here she can be easily flanked here so basically my very ingenious plan is just to ignore the the trooper this turn and hope he doesn't kill anyone next turn because I really really need the chosen to die Oh, here it's important that we take the chosen that we hit the chosen as well as her cover and the the claymore so I think I don't know I think I, I don't remember what the spawn status of the um, oh the explosion was so incredible that it actually crashed my console okay I'll see you I, I have to boot back up the game and it takes like 10 minutes I'll see you in the next episode I'm sorry about that but well XCOM goodbye see you later